Airtel Uganda recently declared its unrivaled 4G internet presence across the country. In an exclusive interview with the Business Roundup, the Airtel Managing Director, VG Somaseka, gives an insight into the new development and the benefits of 4G to the subscribers. The first telco to do it in Uganda, how does it make you feel? You're the first telco to do 4G to have a nationwide or countrywide 4G uh, that is, that's connection. That's a very, very good question. I must tell you, this is, uh, you know, Atel has a very different mindset. I think whatever we do, we call Uganda first. Yes. When we say Uganda first, I think it translates into investment and innovation. Yeah. And telecom, you can't do anything until you invest. I think what we have done is saying, let's bring the best technology. You know, the government of Uganda announced a national broadband policy approved by the cabinet as recent as September. But we started a 4G migration earlier than that. And we were able to say, hey, here's a broadband policy which says, why can't you make 4G countrywide? We said, we'll take on that opportunity, responsibility, and make it good. So it's a long-term view. It's an investment ahead of the curve. I think the investment we're making today is not going to be seeing rewards and any time now, I think it will take maybe two, three, four years before we see this return uh, coming on this investment. So um, regarding the consumption of data, of course there's always been a, co a concern from subscribers that they sometimes uh, subscribe for 100 MBs or 300 MBs, then it gets done very fast, it gets finished and they keep on complaining. So with 4G, uh, what does this mean to them? Is it a faster internet and also faster consumption of data? That is a very, very good question. I think it's important to uh, set expectations and uh, maybe, uh, you know, educate through this conversation. Yes. When you get faster internet, what happens? Now, let's take real life. Uh, you're on a WhatsApp group and you got a video. The moment you touch that video, the, video, yes. the 4G is going to download it fast. fast yeah. Now, let's say you may or may not have seen that three-minute video, but it is going to ensure you download quickly. The moment you download, your data is going to be used. Yes. So what I really think, we are now saying, if you have to download anything, download it faster, and then repetitive usage and consumption becomes less. There's no buffering. Mm -hmm. Now, we are trying to ensure that we come clean and straight to our consumers, okay. which is why we have the most popular bundles. And I think uh, a, a, a popular bundle is one, 1,000 shillings, 100 MB, 5,000 shillings, 1 GB. Then you have this Friday, uh, freaky Friday offers. All this is to ensure that use your internet comfortably. Mm -hmm. In fact, the way we see it is internet is a consumption product. Yes. It is not a product just by possession. A phone is by possession. You can, I've got a phone and I'm just happy with my phone. But internet is a consumption product, and we are trying to make consumption easy. So network is widely available, products are extremely affordable. Your customers should feel comfortable with 4G, and that's why I encourage MiFi. So uh, getting back to the East African region, I very well know that Oper uh, Airtel operates in Uganda as well as in Kenya. So for your subscribers, you know, we tend to cross, like me, I travel a lot across to Kenya and back. I would, I would like to know, uh, where does this place me? If I'm to travel from here, because I'm sure, sure often when I cross to Kenya, uh, I realize that uh, I have to get on to, to, to Rome, then data is consumed very fast, yet I'm still on the same network. So is there anything you, can you be assured probably uh, customers that uh, we are going to be running on the same platform, uh, which is obviously uh, affordable? Another insightful question. Uh, Atel operates across East Africa region. So your uh, Atel Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, I think we are covered everywhere. So first and foremost, when you use an Atel SIM and you cross the border, uh, your phone and the SIM card is going to work across the border. That's number one. It's great for voice. So you're never going to miss a call. You're never going to miss an SMS. Mm -hmm. But I must say, uh, data tariffs are country-led. Because when you cross to Kenya, you move from Uganda shillings to Kenyan shillings. And likewise in every other country. So the, the currency, the pricing, the data bundle are country specific. What we want to recommend to our customers, when you're data roaming, try and use Wi-Fi. Use data roaming, and we are soon going to be launching data roaming bundles, 
where an Atel customer saying, I, I carry a data roaming bundle mm -hmm. from Uganda. I go to Kenya over the weekend That's and amazing. I come back. Yeah. So I think this is one of the things our customers can expect. Soon we'll be announcing data roaming bundle where you can carry a roaming bundle from Uganda into any one of these neighboring countries.